how good is the secondary looking? Uh, you know, the secondary, we continue to try and grow every day. We're getting better and better every day. And I feel as if we continue to build and we continue to do the things we're doing and try our best to be the best we can every day, I feel like we have a pretty good secondary. How competitive is that group, though, overall? you got so many people. The depth is a little much better than we've seen in a couple of years. You know, it's a very competitive group. You know, that's why we come out and we compete like we do every day. We, you know what I'm saying? We try to come out and we try to make things, make the little things right as much as we can. And that's what makes us so competitive in that room. What's different about you as opposed to this time a year ago? I'm bigger, you know. I've, I've gained, I'm almost 200 pounds now, and I was 185 last year. And it, it feels, it actually feels pretty good playing at 200. Well, what's the difference to make the adjustment? You're 2A, small, right? one small size schools, you know, classification in the state. What was the tough thing or what you have to adjust to coming up there? Uh, I would really say just. Just the size difference, really. Not the, the speed was is it's there. The speed is there. I'm used to that. But just the, the the size difference and the size difference in every area of the game. You know, even on special teams, you got players that are bigger. Where in two A, you have special teams. That's just where they put the people they want to. You know what I'm saying the people they just want to put on there. But here, you know, it's just the size difference. But for me, that's something that I love. You know, that's just somebody else to hit. How did that how did that go last year? It's like the middle of the year to click in. Or the Game when you start oh no! That, that first game, you know, when you walk out there the first game, you see, you see the size, you see all that. But for me, it's not. That's nothing that deters me. You know, I mean, that's just a motivator for me because I, I mean, I got to go down and make a play anyway, so I might as well make it on somebody. Dalton, you were a pretty uh, dynamic player on both sides of the ball in high school. What led you to being on defense and in the secondary? And was there any want to maybe play? Offense as well. You know, as being an athlete coming out of high school, you know, there's always that want to play offense. But for me, you know, I just love to hit people. So coming here and then, you know, seeing the speed of the game and the difference and how, like, you tackle and all of that, really getting into it, that made me just fall in love with defense even more. We've, we've seen you at nickel and at safety. What position you feel the most comfortable at? Uh, really either, you know. I mean, I'm just here to really help the team, you know. And as long as the team is growing, I feel it's fine for me. What differences do you see? Really, just more in the nickel. You know, you're, you're down. You're covering more, and at the at the safety position, you're, you're you're standing up and you're seeing everything. And at the nickel, also, you're you have to have your your footwork right and technicalities right. Uh, a rule change this year that more coaches can have hands-on uh, abilities in practice. Have you noticed a difference in in that this year and, and the way you're coached and the way practices go? I was very stern. You know, it's it's. Detailed. It's very detailed, and that's something that we love as a whole team. We love it that all the coaches are detailed with us, and they want to get the little things right. And every like every little detail, they want to have it right, which makes us even better. Does it just seem like there's more coaches around this year? Yeah, it just seems like you know you 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 hear coaches talking like you you're saying the GA coach, but to have them actually be in there and like you know what I'm saying be right there with you and telling you what what needs to be done and what what you're doing wrong almost with everything we do is something that helps very much. What's, uh, what's Coach Ish like in particular with you guys? Uh, you know, Ish is, Ish is a great guy. You know, he's very stern. He has he has his times where, you know, we joke around, but he also tells us, like, this is a, a real serious deal that we're dealing with here, and we could really be something great if we put our mind to it. Seems like you got a lot of depth back there. Are be tough to get snaps this year? Uh, I don't think it would be tough for really anybody to get snaps. Like you said, we have depth, so having depth is always something that's great, and I feel like we'll be, we'll be a team that rotates. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I could always do that. You know, that's something that's that was a part of my game before I got here, and it'll probably always be a part of my game. But for now, I'm, I love defense. You mentioned your weight gain. How much have you gained since you reported here, like as, as a freshman? It's more with this year and off season. What about that? Uh, when I first got here, I mean, I gained about five pounds, but then I lost it back, still right back in 185. But then this this past January, I got here, and then once we got back from our break, that's when really all the weight started to get put on, and I'm up to right about 199, 200 now. And why ain't there a lot of Aggie fans down there in China? I guess there'll be some time. Uh, just for me, you know, staying close to the family. For me, I'm real family-oriented, so staying close to the family and being able to go see them if something's wrong down at home is something that I want to be able to do. Thank you. Thank you all.